You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Why have you sworn to destroy me? Why have you sworn to, to be hurting me like this? What yeah, rubbish like, are you talking what, about? What, what, what is going on? What is going on? Eh? You try to me fair? Do you want to beat me? Mama, 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 you try to me mama, fair? Stop this, stop this. We're not talking about beating you. We're talking about you going to tell my children that my, my, my wife is mad. Is it because guy? Oh, you know how much I hate lies. You know how much I hate lies. She is truly mad. You said that with this in your mouth. Oh, what call you? Eh? I want to go to Iquo. What is this rubbish now? My channel. My channel. Mama. Papa. Do not make me regret ever having you as my mom. <laughs> oh, you don't. You ain't gonna make a man like ya. Eh? You ain't gonna make a man like ya. I want to hear you, Mama. I want to know. Oh, you keep. Don't make me regret having you as a I said enough. You took him out and told him to beat me when he returned. And he has done it. How could you say that? How could you say that? Has he not beaten me? Hey! 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 God will touch you! God will touch you! Why would I do such a thing? Eh? Meet me at a movie, I do lock me on Gaga. Now listen to me. Your mother is a dangerous person. Don't allow her to go and report you to the youths. Because if she does that, the youths will come here and sanction you. And that is not what you need now. I want you to go in there and plead with her to forgive you. For what? No, no, no. Tell me. Why should I do that? She should be the one to ask for my forgiveness. I will never do that. Well, give me. Now listen to me. There you go wrong. Do you want your mother to succeed in our plans? Do you want our plans to fail? Is that what you want? Now go inside and plead with her. Jay, no, go and beg her. Go and beg her. Gaba now, Gaba. Hey. Hey. Don't allow her to live here because if she my, does, my book, which is a wizard, is she okay. will go and report you. Hi. Hey. Okay. Okay. Yes. Can you marry someone you don't love? Yes. My mother taught us that if you marry someone you don't love, eh, as time goes on, you, you, you love the person. So you don't love me? I love you. You are a handsome man. I know that when we get married, our love will grow more. What if I don't love you? I'll make you love me. I know how to do it. You actually came prepared. You're well equipped. Your mother really taught you well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a man on your way and admire him? Yes, I have. 
But you know, men they go for all these big, 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 big women. So, that is it. Sinyaka. Hmm? Look at that. Chinyaka, what would you like to do in life? I mean, what kind of business would you like to do? I love cooking, you know, and I want to learn how to um, fry cake. That's why I want to go to Budu Yubu, so that I will learn how to fry cake professionally. Ah. Mm. That's nice. So, why would you like to, or let me ask, uh, would you like to go learn it professionally before you get married? Yes, yes. I, I, I would I like it so that I have something to do before I get married. And I can support my husband. No, it's not every time I ask him to give me money to buy Gary, give me money to buy beans. Give me money to buy all those small, small, small things. I want to have something to do before I get married. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'll make sure you go to school and learn all that. Ah, are you sure? I would like to make the same mistake again. Annabelle had no job when I met her. And that has been our problem. Stop mentioning that girl's name anytime I am with you. If that is the case, I'll go and enroll her into that vocational school at Abakaniki. Hi. Um, oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Hi. One more. You have not proven to me that you suckled from this blessed. <laughs> no. Mama, I will be going back to the city tomorrow. Huh? What will now happen to your children? Please don't leave them here. I will do as you said. Do not worry yourself. Um, Patrick, uh -huh. you'll be leaving tomorrow, right? Yes, Papa. So, I would like to talk with you soon. Uh. Emeka, it's you. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I am here because of your faith. Yameka. I think the issue of cheating has to be left in the hands of the family to decide on what to do. Not the entire community deciding. Each year, I have been thinking about this since when I was a little child. Okay. You're welcome to my house. Thank you. Each year, you are one of the strong members of the king's cabinet. What do we do? How do we put an end to this shame? Emeka. Each year. That is exactly why I am here. Okay. With you and a few others, we will put an end to this barbaric act. Okay. So what do we do? 
how do we go about it? Ichi. Now listen to me. Emeka, I want you to get the youths to accept the fact that this barbaric practice must stop in this community. Let them be behind you. You are their spokesman. Ichi, to be honest with you, the youth of this great land are behind me. Good. In fact, they suggested severally that I go to the Igwe and talk to the Igwe about this. They want this to be put to stop. They are tired of it. But the truth is, the Igwe refused to listen to me. The Igwe went deaf ears over the issue. He's adamant about it. Now listen to me, Emeka. The only way to see reason as reason is to reason reasonably. That's true. We all must face this issue angrily. The other communities around us we hear of suicide once in many years. But here, yeah, almost every day we hear of suicide. We must put an end to it. Gather the youths. Let them be behind you. Ichie, if I decide to go on with this, will all the elders back me up? If I involve the Human Rights Commission in this? All. All the elders will come behind you. Right? To any agency, we are behind you. Let the youth follow you. Hmm? Mm. So what you're saying in a nutshell is if I involve the Human Rights Commission, the elders are fully behind me. We are already behind you. Okay. We are already behind you. Okay. Let the youth follow you. Okay. Uche, I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't want to hear that word. I will, I will do my best. So that you will not tell me that my best is not good enough. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Plan your I know what to do. Good. I know what to do. Your Majesty, the terms and conditions that surround that very tradition contradict what we are passing through right now. On behalf of the youth of this great kingdom, we plead that you abolish that very tradition. Your Majesty. I thought we've discussed this before. Haven't we? Your Majesty, are you not remorse over the fact that a lot of people are dying? So many people are dying because of the same tradition. Our women in this kingdom, they no longer marry men from this kingdom. Even the women that will marry from other kingdom are passing through the same cause. They are all dying. They are all suffering from this same tradition. Your Highness, our girls no longer see us fit to marry anymore. They rather prefer going to other communities to get married. How long are we going to continue like this, Your Majesty? But this is the standard we met. And it has held us on. Majesty, this same tradition can be adjusted, Your Majesty, and only you have the authority to do that. Your Majesty, please do something about it. Uh, uh, well, go and tell the people that sent you that I insist on keeping the tradition same way I met it. Well, in that case, Your Majesty, with due respect, I would love to tell you that I have written to human rights lawyers, human activists, home and abroad, in regards to this. Your Highness, Your Majesty, I speak on behalf of the youth of the Spirit's life. Please, act into the voice of reason. Young man, your majesty, do you know I can relieve you of your post as the youth leader of this kingdom? Yes, I know you can do that, your majesty, but 
That will not stop me. Yes. Gone are those days when the youths keep quiet. But you see this generation youth? They speak out. Your Majesty. We don't keep quiet. We ride and die for issues that consign this great community. Our own community. Your Majesty. Mm. Mm. So you look me in the face. You stand before me to order me on what to do. Now listen. Go and tell your sponsors that I am Igor Oroto. One. Nobody. I repeat. Nobody tells me what to do. I do it the way I want it. Your Majesty, I'm very sorry. If I have spoken out of place, if I have spoken harshly towards you, please, tamper justice with mercy. But you see, I have the support of the youth, and I speak on behalf of every youth of this great kingdom. Please, please, hack me to the words of reason. Now, get out of my palace. Your Majesty. He said, get out of my palace. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But before you do, go and tell your sponsors that I remain the Igor of Oboto. And no one dares me and go scot free. May you live long, Your Majesty. Please. Listen to words of wisdom, please. Can you see this tradition is killing us? Can you see it doesn't suit this generation? Can you see our people dying on daily base? Can you see things are getting out of hand? So should we ignore it? Oh, man, it So should we ignore it? Oh, I may not. Our tradition. Oh, you go. Can you bang woman and now? What? Suck! Daddy, what is it? No, 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 no. She hold this. Daddy, what is it? I'm coming. I'll be right back, eh? Go inside. I'll be right back. I am hungry. This hunger is getting too much. We hardly eat. Even when we travel, Grandma could not still give us food. I don't know what is happening. What do we do now? Because I'm very hungry. I don't know. It's okay, let's go inside. Hello, my babies. Auntie, good, evening. Auntie, good evening. Good evening. How are you? We are fine. We are fine. Are you sure you're fine? Yes. Yes, you are fine. Auntie, we were coming to meet you. Oh. Yes. And we just came back from the village. Okay. Let's so we decided to come and meet you. Yes, Auntie. Okay. Then you're coming to my house, right? Yes, we are. Well, let's go to my house then. No problem. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.
Welcome to my house again. Alright? Let's go inside. What? And Shanita. Yes, there. And Uju is angry. Or is she also angry to see us? Why would you say that? Has anyone ever told you they're angry to see you? Yes. Our grandma, she hates us so much. She even told us to stop calling her grandma. Yes. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, okay? okay? Nobody is going to hate you here. Trust me, okay? Okay. Now let's go in and eat anything you want to eat. And then from there, we'll go to the shopping mall. Okay, and buy you auntie. anything you want. You are welcome. You are welcome. Let's go inside. Okay, let's thank go. Have you. fun. <laughs> come to work today my wife has been sick eh? yes is Oga still around Oga? yes mm. Mm -mm. i don't know eh, uh, wait, wait. in fact your village people is really at work oh. hey your wife is sick get in with her all ha! Mm -hmm. your village people is really working eh? how can a vibrant man like you got a job on that one day, you didn't walk the walk and you lose it just like that. A big opportunity, a big chance like this that everybody is praying for. You saw now we lose where mm. your village people now saw tomorrow. But hey, mm. but let me ask your village people, yeah, where are they when you got that walk at the first time? Mm -hmm. Um, no. uh, good day. Kekime. me. Huh? You have been sat. Please leave my office. Hey, 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 hey. Listen now. My wife has been hospitalized ever since I got this job. I don't have any business with you. Have a nice day. I can't just have a nice day like that now. Not possible. Please help me. For crying out loud, your words are falling into the death place. Excuse me. Please help me beg your boss, please. Please now, please. Sir. So, Sir, so you're welcome. Sir, so, so I'm so sorry. Please, I'm sorry. You know, my wife has been in the hospital since the day I got this job. You see, Mr. Patrick, I hate excuses. The truth is, you can't work in this company. Oh. Sir, so, you know I am very serious with my work. It's just because of what happened. So, how is she? Sir, she's not fine. She's not fine at all. She has been in the hospital since that day till now. Um, 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 okay, um, sorry about that, Mr. Patrick, but the truth still remains that um, you're sacked. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me? And why is everything so hard for me? Why am I always crying? Why, why, why? Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky. Sometimes I wonder if I am unfortunate. I watch everything get from bad to worse. Why me? 
All this got me asking questions every day. Okay, me ask you to walk you. You never best one go kill you, Abi. You never best one go kill you. Not me go kill. I feel like even go kill you. Idiot. Idiot. Just. Tears has been my food every day. Yet I get no answer why. Why am I unfortunate? Why? Why are all this happening to me? Why? This has been my food every day. Sometimes I ask why is life so unfair to me And why is everything so hard for me Why am I always crying Why, why, why Sometimes I wonder if I am unlucky Sometimes I wonder Annabelle What am I doing here? Annabelle, how could you? How could you do this to me? Do what? What am After I doing? all I sacrificed to keep our bed holy. You went and cheated on me. Why, Annabelle? How could you do this to me? I don't know why. I'm sorry. I actually know you're going to say that. But how do you undo it? did it to get you that job. I, I couldn't watch you suffer in penury. The hardship, the suffering in our family was too much. I had to do something. I didn't have any other option than to do it to get you that job. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please. Annabelle, you did it with who? Brian, we used to stay in the same streets many years ago. Say yes. Come, Say yes to me and I'll spoil you with whatever you want. Name it. Money, gifts. Mm. Oh, come here. Money, gifts. So you think you can have every girl you want simply because your parents are rich, right? No, I don't mean it that way. Well, as a matter of fact, you know I don't talk to ladies. You don't talk to ladies. <laughs> Clap for yourself. Because I know you slept with my flatmate, Queen. 
and I know you have slept with so many girls. Annabelle, that's not true. Annabelle, I can swear, I have never ever seen a princess. You don't even know how to lie. What am I even standing here listening to your rubbish? Excuse me. Annabelle, Annabelle, please, Annabelle, just say yes, please. Annabelle, just give me a chance, please, Annabelle. Daddy, good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Fine, Daddy. Okay, come on, go inside. Okay? Okay. okay. Please hold your greatness to yourself. What do you want? You've succeeded on destroying my family. What else do you want from this family? I did not destroy your family. Pumas have come to Aaron. I know I have wronged you and your family. And I have made your countless eyes for you to forgive me. But you refuse to forgive me. You are here to return the job you took from me. Why did you do what you did to me? Even when you knew that I did not deserve it. Mm. 